The University of California, Los Angeles UCLA, is a public research university in Los Angeles. It became the southern branch of the University of California in 1919, making it the third oldest after UC Berkeley and UC Davis undergraduate campus of the 10-campus University of California system. It offers 337 undergraduate and graduate degree programs in a wide range of disciplines. UCLA enrolls about 31,000 undergraduate and 13,000 graduate students and had 119,000 applicants for fall 2016, including transfer applicants, making the school the most applied to of any American university. The university is organized into six undergraduate colleges, seven professional schools, and four professional health science schools. The undergraduate colleges are the College of Letters and Science, Samueli School of Engineering, School of the Arts and Architecture, Herb Alpert School of Music, School of Theater, Film and Television, and School of Nursing. As of 2017, 24 Nobel laureates, three Fields medalists, and five Turing Award winners, and two chief scientists of the U.S. Air Force have been affiliated with UCLA as faculty, researchers, or alumni. Among the current faculty members, 55 have been elected to the National Academy of Sciences, 28 to the National Academy of Engineering, 39 to the Institute of Medicine, and 124 to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. The university was elected to the Association of American Universities in 1974. UCLA is considered one of the country's public ivies, meaning that it is a public university thought to provide a quality of education comparable with that of the Ivy League. In 2018, U.S. News & World Report named UCLA the best public university in the United States. UCLA student-athletes compete as the Bruins in the Pac-12 Conference. The Bruins have won 126 national championships, including 116 NCAA team championships, more than any other university except Stanford, who has won 117. UCLA student-athletes, coaches and staff won 251 Olympic medals, 126 gold, 65 silver, and 60 bronze. UCLA student-athletes competed in every Olympics since 1920 with one exception 1924 and won a gold medal in every Olympics the U.S. participated in since 1932. Topic. History In March 1881, the California State Legislature authorized the creation of a southern branch of the California State Normal School now San Jose State University in downtown Los Angeles to train teachers for the growing population of Southern California. The Los Angeles branch of the California State Normal School opened on August 29, 1882, on what is now the site of the Central Library of the Los Angeles Public Library System. The facility included an elementary school where teachers in training could practice their technique with children. That elementary school is related to the present-day UCLA Lab School. In 1887, the branch campus became independent and changed its name to Los Angeles State Normal School. In 1914, the school moved to a new campus on Vermont Avenue now the site of Los Angeles City College in East Hollywood. In 1917, UC Regent Edward Augustus Dixon, the only regent representing the Southland at the time, and Ernest Carroll Moore, director of the Normal School, began to lobby the state legislature to enable the school to become the second University of California campus, after UC Berkeley. 
They met resistance from UC Berkeley alumni, Northern California members of the state legislature, and Benjamin Ide Wheeler, president of the University of California from 1899 to 1919, who were all vigorously opposed to the idea of a Southern campus. However, David Prescott Barrows, the new president of the University of California, did not share Wheeler's objections. On May 23, 1919, the Southern Californian's efforts were rewarded when Governor William D. Stevens signed Assembly Bill 626 into law, which transformed the Los Angeles Normal School into the Southern branch of the University of California. The same legislation added its general undergraduate program, the College of Letters and Science. The Southern Branch campus opened on September 15 of that year, offering two-year undergraduate programs to 250 letters and science students and 1,250 students in the Teachers College, under Moore's continued direction. Under University of California President William Wallace Campbell, enrollment at the Southern Branch expanded so rapidly that by the mid-1920s the institution was outgrowing the 25-acre Vermont Avenue location. The Regents searched for a new location and announced their selection of the so-called Beverly Site. Just west of Beverly Hills, on March 21, 1925 edging out the panoramic hills of the still-empty Palos Verde Peninsula. After the athletic teams entered the Pacific Coast Conference in 1926, the Southern Branch Student Council adopted the nickname, Bruins, a name offered by the Student Council at UC Berkeley. In 1927, the Regents renamed the Southern Branch the University of California at Los Angeles the word at was officially replaced by a comma in 1958, in line with other UC campuses. In the same year, the state broke ground in Westwood on land sold for $1 million, less than one-third its value, by real estate developers Edwin and Harold Jans, for whom the Jans Steps are named. The campus in Westwood opened to students in 1929. The original four buildings were the College Library, now Powell Library, Royce Hall, the Physics Biology Building, formerly the Humanities Building and now the Rene and David Kaplan Hall, and the Chemistry Building, now Haynes Hall, arrayed around a quadrangular courtyard on the 400-acre, 1.6 square kilometers campus. The first undergraduate classes on the new campus were held in 1929 with 5,500 students. After lobbying by alumni, faculty, administration and community leaders, UCLA was permitted to award the master's degree in 1933, and the doctorate in 1936, against continued resistance from UC Berkeley. A timeline of the history can be found on its website, as well as a published book. Topic: <laughs> Maturity as a university. During its first 32 years, UCLA was treated as an off-site department of UC. As such, its presiding officer was called a provost and reported to the main campus in Berkeley. In 1951, UCLA was formally elevated to co-equal status with UC Berkeley, and its presiding officer Raymond B. Allen was the first chief executive to be granted the title of chancellor. The appointment of Franklin David Murphy to the position of chancellor in 1960 helped spark an era of tremendous growth of facilities and faculty honors. By the end of the decade, UCLA had achieved distinction in a wide range of subjects. This era also secured UCLA's position as a proper university and not simply a branch of the UC system. This change is exemplified by an incident involving Chancellor Murphy, which was described by him. I picked up the telephone and called in from somewhere, and the phone operator said. 
University of California. And I said, Is this Berkeley? She said, No. I said, Well, who have I gotten to? UCLA. I said, Why didn't you say UCLA? Oh. She said, We're instructed to say University of California. So the next morning I went to the office and wrote a memo. I said, Will you please instruct the operators, as of noon today, when they answer the phone to say, UCLA? And they said, You know they won't like it at Berkeley. And I said, Well, let's just see. There are a few things maybe we can do around here without getting their permission. Topic: 2016 shooting. On June 1, 2016, two men were killed in a murder-suicide at an engineering building in the university. School officials put the campus on lockdown as Los Angeles Police Department officers, including SWAT, cleared the campus. Topic. Sexual assaults In 2018, the university came into the national spotlight when the Los Angeles Times reported that four UCLA employees had filed lawsuits against UCLA and the UC Board of Regents having accused their workplace supervisor of sexual harassment and the university of failing to properly handle abuse complaints. The harassment allegedly started in early 2016, according to the lawsuits. The women faced retaliation from other supervisors after they filed complaints. The retaliatory behavior included making the women do more work and not allowing them to take time off to see their attorney. They are seeking more than $120 million in damages. Subsequently, an audit by the California State Auditor found inconsistent discipline in UCLA sexual misconduct cases. The state audit also found that UCLA did not follow university policy or Title IX requirements. Topic: 2019 admission scandal. UCLA was one of several universities named in the largest college admission scandal ever prosecuted by the United States Department of Justice. On Tuesday, March 12, 2019, UCLA men's soccer coach Jorge Salcedo was one of many coaches across the country charged with racketeering and conspiracy, and is alleged to have taken over $200,000 in bribes. Topic. Campus The new UCLA campus in 1929 had four buildings, Royce Hall and Haynes Hall on the north, and Powell Library and Kinsey Hall now called Rene and David Kaplan Hall on the south. The Jans Steps were the original 87-step entrance to the university that lead to the quad of these four buildings. Today, the campus includes 163 buildings across 419 acres 1.7 square kilometers in the western part of Los Angeles, north of the Westwood Shopping District and just south of Sunset Boulevard. In terms of acreage, it is the second smallest of the 10 UC campuses. The campus is approximately one mile east of the I-405 San Diego Freeway. The campus is in the residential area of Westwood and bordered by Bel Air to the north, Beverly Hills to the east, and Brentwood to the west. The campus is informally divided into North Campus and South Campus, which are both on the eastern half of the university's land. North Campus is the original campus core, its buildings are more traditional in appearance and clad in imported Italian brick. 
North Campus is home to the arts, humanities, social sciences, law, and business programs and is centered around ficus and sycamore-lined Dixon Court, also known as the Sunken Garden. South Campus is home to the physical sciences, life sciences, engineering, mathematical sciences, health-related fields, and the UCLA Medical Center. The campus includes sculpture gardens, fountains, museums, and a mix of architectural styles. Ackerman Union, the John Wooden Center, the Arthur Ashe Health and Wellness Center, the Student Activities Center, Kirchhoff Hall, the J.D. Morgan Center, the James West Alumni Center, and Polly Pavilion stand at the center of the campus, bordering Wilson Plaza. The campus is bisected by Bruin Walk, a heavily traveled pathway from the residential hill to the main campus. At the intersection of Bruin Walk and Westwood Plaza is Bruin Plaza, featuring an outdoor performing arts stage and a bronze statue of the Bruin Bear. During the 2028 Summer Olympics, wrestling and judo will be held at Poly Pavilion. The campus will also be the location of the Olympic Village for the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Topic architecture The first buildings were designed by the local firm Allison & Allison. The Romanesque revival style of these first four structures remained the predominant building style until the 1950s, when architect Welton Beckett was hired to supervise the expansion of the campus over the next two decades. Beckett greatly streamlined its general appearance, adding several rows of minimalist, slab-shaped brick buildings to the southern half, the largest of these being the UCLA Medical Center. Architects such as A. Quincy Jones, William Pereira, and Paul Williams designed many subsequent structures on the campus during the mid-20th century. More recent additions include buildings designed by architects I. M. Pei, Venturi, Scott Brown and Associates, Richard Meyer, Cesar Pelli, and Raphael Vinoli. To accommodate UCLA's rapidly growing student population, multiple construction and renovation projects are in progress, including expansions of the life sciences and engineering research complexes. This continuous construction gives UCLA the nickname under construction like always. One notable building on campus is named after African-American alumnus Ralph Bunch, who received the 1950 Nobel Peace Prize for negotiating an armistice agreement between the Jews and Arabs in Israel. The entrance of Bunch Hall features a bust of him overlooking the Franklin D. Murphy Sculpture Garden. He was the first individual of non-European background and the first UCLA alumnus to be honored with the prize. The Hannah Carter Japanese Garden is located a mile north of campus, in the community of Bel Air. The garden was designed by landscape architect Nagao Sakurai of Tokyo and garden designer Kazuo Nakamura of Kyoto in 1959. After the garden was damaged by heavy rains in 1969, UCLA professor of art and campus architect Koichi Kawana took on the task of its reconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> Filming UCLA has attracted filming for decades with its proximity to Hollywood. Much of the film Gotcha, 1985, was shot at UCLA, as well as John Singleton's Higher Learning, 1995. Legally Blonde, 2001, Old School, 2003, The Nutty Professor, 1995, Aaron Brockovich, 2000, How High, 2001, National Lampoon's Van Wilder, 2002, American Pie 2, 2001, and Bring It On Again, 2004, were all mainly shot around campus. In January 2009, the Bollywood movie My Name Is Khan, 2010, was shot on campus. 
UCLA is also often cast as Stanford in television shows such as The Mindy Project and Chuck. Some of the exterior shots of the fictional UC Sunnydale in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, an ABC Family original series Greek were also filmed at UCLA. The site was also used to represent the fictional Windsor College which appears in Scream 2 1996. .In response to the major demand for filming, UCLA has instated a policy to regulate filming and professional photography at the campus. UCLA is located in Los Angeles, the same place as the American motion picture industry," said UCLA visiting professor of film and television Jonathan Kuntz. So we're convenient for almost all of the movie companies, TV production companies, commercial companies and so on. We're right where the action is. Topic. Transportation and parking The campus maintains 24,000 parking spaces, and operates an award-winning sustainable transportation program. Elements of the sustainable transportation program include vanpools, a campus shuttle system called Bruinbus, discounted carpool permits, and subsidized transit passes. One of the PASS programs includes BruinGo, which allows students and staff members to purchase discounted passes to ride Santa Monica's Big Blue Bus and the Culver City Bus. Additionally, UCLA has a grocery shuttle that transports students between the dorms and Westwood, on weekends in order to facilitate students' shopping needs. Topic. Academics Topic. Divisions Topic Healthcare The David Geffen School of Medicine, School of Nursing, School of Dentistry and Fielding School of Public Health constitute the professional schools of health science. The UCLA Health System operates the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, a hospital in Santa Monica and 12 primary care clinics throughout Los Angeles County. In addition, the UCLA David Geffen School of Medicine uses two Los Angeles County public hospitals as teaching hospitals, Harbor UCLA Medical Center and Olive View UCLA Medical Center, as well as the largest private nonprofit hospital on the West Coast, Cedars-Sinai Medical Center. The Greater Los Angeles VA Medical Center is also a major teaching and training site for the university. The UCLA Medical Center made history in 1981 when Assistant Professor Michael Gottlieb first diagnosed AIDS. UCLA medical researchers also pioneered the use of positron emission tomography PET scanning to study brain function. Professor of Pharmacology Louis Ignaro was one of the recipients of the 1998 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for discovering the signaling cascade of nitric oxide, one of the most important molecules in cardiopulmonary physiology. The U.S. News & World Report Best Hospitals Ranking for 2017 ranks UCLA Medical Center 7th in the United States and 2nd in the West after the UCSF Medical Center at the University of California, San Francisco, which is also part of the UC system. UCLA Medical Center was ranked within the top 20 in the United States for 15 out of 16 medical specialty areas examined. Topic. Rankings Topic Global The Times Higher Education World University Rankings for 2017-2018 ranks UCLA 15th in the world for academics, number one U.S. public university for academics, and 13th in the world for reputation. 
UCLA was ranked 33rd in the QS World University Rankings in 2017 and 12th in the world 10th in North America by the Academic Ranking of World Universities ARWU in 2017. In 2017, the Center for World University Rankings CWUR ranked the university 15th in the world based on quality of education, alumni employment, quality of faculty, publications, influence, citations, broad impact, and patents. The 2017 U.S. News & World Report Best Global University Rankings Report ranked UCLA 10th in the world. The CWTS Leiden Ranking of Universities Based on Scientific Impact for 2017 ranks UCLA 14th in the world. The University Ranking by Academic Performance URAP, conducted by Middle East Technical University for 2016-2017 ranked UCLA 12th in the world based on the quantity, quality and impact of research articles and citations. The Webometrics Ranking of World Universities for 2017 ranked UCLA 11th in the world based on the presence, impact, openness and excellence of its research publications. Topic National The 2018 U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges Report ranked UCLA 1st among public universities. The Washington Monthly ranked UCLA 8th among national universities in 2016, with criteria based on research, community service, and social mobility. The Money Magazine Best Colleges ranking for 2015 ranked UCLA 26th in the United States, based on educational quality, affordability and alumni earnings. In 2014, the Daily Beast's Best Colleges Report ranked UCLA 10th in the country. The Keipelinger Best College Values Report for 2015 ranked UCLA 6th for value among American public universities. The Wall Street Journal and Times Higher Education ranked UCLA 26th among national universities in 2016. The 2013 Top American Research Universities Report by the Center for Measuring University Performance ranks UCLA 11th in power, 12th in resources, faculty, and education, 14th in resources and education and 9th in education. The 2015 Princeton Review College Hopes and Worries Survey ranked UCLA as the number 5 dream college among students and the number 10 dream college among parents. The National Science Foundation ranked UCLA 10th among American universities for research and development expenditures in 2014 with $948 million. The New York Times ranked UCLA as number one for economic upward mobility in the United States. Topic Graduate School As of August 2016, the U.S. News & World Report Best Graduate Schools Report ranked the Graduate School of Education and Information Studies 11th, the Anderson School of Management 15th, the David Geffen School of Medicine tied for 6th for Primary Care and 14th for Research, the School of Law 17th, the Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science Science HSSEAS tied for 14th, the Jonathan and Karen Fielding School of Public Health 19th, and the School of Nursing 12th. The QS Global 200 MBA Rankings Report for 2015 ranks the Anderson School of Management 9th among North American business schools. The 2014 Economist Ranking of Full-Time MBA Programs ranks the Anderson School of Management 13th in the world. The 2014 Financial Times Ranking of MBA Programs ranks the Anderson School 26th in the world. The 2014 Bloomberg Businessweek Ranking of Full-Time MBA Programs ranks the Anderson School of Management 11th in the United States. 
The 2014 Business Insider Ranking of the World's Best Business Schools ranks the Anderson School of Management 20th in the world. The 2014 EdUniversal Business Schools Ranking ranks the Anderson School of Management 15th in the United States. In 2015, career website Vault ranked the Anderson School of Management 16th among American business schools, and the School of Law 16th among American law schools. In 2015, financial community website Quantnet ranked the Anderson School of Management's Master of Financial Engineering program 12th among North American financial engineering programs. The U.S. News and World Report Best Online Programs Report for 2016 ranked the Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science (HSSEAS) first among online graduate engineering programs. Topic Departmental Departments ranked in the National Top 10 by the 2016 U.S. News & World Report Best Graduate Schools Report are Clinical Psychology 1st, Fine Arts 2nd, Psychology 2nd, Medical School, Primary Care 6th, Math 7th, History 9th, Sociology 9th, English 10th, Political Science 10th, and Public Health 10th. Departments ranked in the Global Top 10 by the 2016 U.S. News & World Report Best Global Universities Report are Arts and Humanities 7th, Biology and Biochemistry 10th, Chemistry 6th, Clinical Medicine 10th, Materials Science 10th, Mathematics 7th, Neuroscience and Behavior 7th, Psychiatry, Psychology 3rd and Social Sciences and Public Health 8th, Departments ranked in the Global Top 10 by the Academic Ranking of World Universities for 2015 are Mathematics 8th and Computer Science 9th. Departments ranked in the Global Top 10 by the QS World University Rankings for 2015 are English Language and Literature 9th, Linguistics 2nd, Modern Languages 10th, Medicine 7th, Psychology 5th, Mathematics 8th, Geography and Area Studies 7th, Communication and Media Studies 10th, Education 8th, and Sociology 6th. Topic academic field Academic field rankings in the global top 10 according to the Academic Ranking of World Universities for 2015 are Clinical Medicine and Pharmacy 10th, Academic field rankings in the global top 10 according to the Times Higher Education World University Rankings for 2014-2015 include Arts and Humanities 10th, Clinical, Pre-Clinical and Health 9th, 9th, Engineering and Technology 9th, Physical Sciences 9th, and Social Sciences 9th, Academic Field Rankings in the Global Top 10 According to the QS World University Rankings for 2015 are Arts and Humanities 10th, and Life Sciences and Medicine 10th. Topic. Student body The Institute of International Education ranked UCLA the American University with the seventh most international students in 2016 behind NYU, USC, Arizona State, Columbia, Illinois, and Northeastern. In 2014, Business Insider ranked UCLA fifth in the world for the number of alumni working at Google behind Stanford, Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon and MIT. In 2015, Business Insider ranked UCLA 10th among American universities with the most students hired by Silicon Valley companies. In 2015, research firm PitchBook ranked UCLA 15th in the world for producing the most undergraduate alumni who are entrepreneurs backed by venture capital and 11th in the world for producing the most MBA graduate alumni who are entrepreneurs backed by venture capital. Topic: Library system. 
UCLA's library system has over 9 million books and 70,000 serials spread over 12 libraries and 11 other archives, reading rooms, and research centers. It is the United States' 12th largest library in number of volumes, the first library, University Library, presently Powell Library, was founded in 1884. In 1910, Elizabeth Fargo became the university's first librarian. Lawrence Powell became librarian in 1944, and began a series of system overhauls and modifications, and in 1959, he was named Dean of the School of Library Service. More libraries were added as previous ones filled. Paige Ackerman became university librarian in 1973, and was the nation's first female librarian of a system as large and complex as UCLA's. She oversaw the first coordinations between other UC schools, and formed a new administrative network that is still in use today. Since her retirement, the system has seen steady growth and improvement under various librarians. The present university librarian is Virginia Steele, who took office on July 15, 2013. <laughs> Medical school admissions According to the Association of American Medical Colleges AAMC, UCLA supplies the most undergraduate applicants to U.S. medical schools among all American universities. In 2015, UCLA supplied 961 medical school applicants, followed by UC Berkeley with 819 and the University of Florida with 802. Among first time medical school applicants who received their bachelor's degree from UCLA in 2014, 51% were admitted to at least one U.S. medical school. Topic. Admissions Topic Undergraduate U.S. News & World Report rates UCLA most selective and Princeton Review rates its admissions selectivity of 97 out of 99, 102,242 prospective freshmen applied for fall 2017, the most of any four-year university in the United States. Admission rates vary according to the residency of applicants. For fall 2016, California residents had an admission rate of 18%, while out-of-state U.S. residents had an admission rate of 22% and internationals had an admission rate of 14%. Enrolled freshmen for fall 2018 had an unweighted GPA of 3.89, an SAT interquartile range of 1270 to 1520, and an ACT interquartile range of 28 to 34. The SAT interquartile ranges were 640 to 740 for reading and writing and 630 to 780 for math. UCLA's freshman admission rate varies drastically across colleges. For fall 2016, the College of Letters and Science had an admission rate of 21.2%, the Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science HSSEAS had an admission rate of 12.4%, the Herb Alpert School of Music had an admission rate of 23.5%, the School of the Arts and Architecture had an admission rate of 10.3%, the School of Nursing had an admission rate of 2.2%, and the School of Theater, Film and Television had an admission rate of 4.4%. One of the major issues is the decreased admission of African Americans since the passage of Proposition 209 in 1996, prohibiting racial or sexual discrimination at public institutions. UCLA responded by shifting to a holistic admissions process starting fall 2007. The holistic admissions process evaluates applicants based on their opportunities in high school, their personal hardships and unusual circumstances at home. 
Among the admitted freshman applicants for fall 2017, 36.7% chose to enroll at UCLA. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Graduate For fall 2014, the David Geffen School of Medicine admitted 3.2% of its applicants, making it the ninth most selective U.S. medical school. The School of Law had a median undergraduate GPA of 3.74 and median law school admission test LSAT score of 166 for the enrolled class of 2018. The Anderson School of Management had a middle 80% GPA range of 3.2 to 3.8 and an average graduate management admission test GMAT score of 714 for the enrolled MBA class of 2017. The School of Dentistry had an average overall GPA of 3.75, an average science GPA of 3.71 and an average dental admission test DAT score of 22 for the enrolled class of 2018. The Graduate School of Nursing currently has an acceptance rate of 3.9%. For fall 2015, the Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science HSSEAS had a graduate acceptance rate of 27.6%. Topic. Economic impact The university has a significant impact in the Los Angeles economy. It is the fifth largest employer in the county after Los Angeles County, the Los Angeles Unified School District, the federal government and the city of Los Angeles and the seventh largest in the region. Topic. Trademarks and licensing The UCLA trademark is the exclusive property of the Regents of the University of California. But it is managed, protected, and licensed through UCLA Trademarks and Licensing, a division of the Associated Students UCLA, the largest student employer on campus. As such, the Asukla also has a share in the profits. Due to UCLA's academic and athletic prestige, as well as the name, being associated with popular images of Southern California lifestyle, apparel with UCLA logos and insignia sells not just in the United States, but as an overseas clothing and accessories brand. High demand for UCLA apparel has inspired the licensing of its trademark to UCLA brand stores throughout Europe, the Middle East and Asia. Since 1980, 15 UCLA stores have opened in South Korea, and 49 are currently open in China. The newest store was opened in Kuwait. There are also stores in Mexico, Singapore, India and Europe. UCLA makes $400,000 in royalties every year through its international licensing program. Topic: <laughs> Commerce on campus. UCLA has various store locations around campus with the main store in Ackerman Union. In addition, UCLA-themed products are sold at the gift shop of Fowler Museum on campus. Due to licensing and trademarks, products with UCLA logos and insignia are usually higher priced than their unlicensed counterparts. These products have popularity among visitors, who buy them as gifts and souvenirs. 
For certain products such as notebooks and folders, the UCLA store offers both licensed logo and unlicensed without logo, thus cheaper options, but for many other products the latter option is often unavailable. Students who are part-time employed by a Sukla at a UCLA store or a UCLA restaurant are offered certain discounts when they are shopping at UCLA stores in addition to their salary. Topic. Athletics The school's sports teams are called the Bruins, represented by the colors true blue and gold. The Bruins participate in NCAA Division I as part of the Pac-12 Conference. Two notable sports facilities serve as home venues for UCLA sports. The Bruin men's football team plays home games at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. The team won a national title in 1954. The basketball and volleyball teams, and the women's gymnastics team compete at Poly Pavilion on campus. The school also sponsors cross country, soccer, women's rowing, golf, tennis, water polo, track and field, and women's softball. The mascots are Joe and Josephine Bruin, and the fight songs are Sons of Westwood and Mighty Bruins. The alma mater is Hail to the Hills of Westwood. When Henry Red Sanders came to UCLA to coach football in 1949, the uniforms were redesigned. Sanders added a gold loop on the shoulders the UCLA stripe. The navy blue was changed to a lighter shade of blue. Sanders figured that the baby blue would look better on the field and in film. He dubbed the uniform, Powder Keg Blue, a powder blue with an explosive kick. This would also differentiate UCLA from all other UC teams, whose official colors are blue and gold. UCLA competes in all major Division I sports and has won 127 national championships, including 116 NCAA championships. Only Stanford University has more NCAA team championships, with 117. On April 21, 2018, UCLA's women's gymnastics team defeated Oklahoma Sooners to win its seventh NCAA National Championship as well as UCLA's 115th overall team title. Most recently, UCLA's women's soccer team defeated Florida State to win its first NCAA National Championship along with women's tennis who defeated North Carolina to win its second NCAA National title ever. UCLA's softball program is also outstanding. Women's softball won their NCAA leading 11th National Championship, on June 8, 2010. The women's water polo team is also dominant, with a record seven NCAA championships. Notably, the team helped UCLA become the first school to win 100 NCAA championships overall when they won their fifth on May 13, 2007. The men's water polo team won UCLA's 112th, 113th, and 114th national championships, defeating USC in the championship game three times, on December 7, 2014, on December 6, 2015, and on December 3, 2017. On October 9, 2016, the top-ranked men's water polo team broke the NCAA record for consecutive wins when they defeated UC Davis for their 52nd straight win. This toppled Stanford's previous record of 51 consecutive wins set in 1985-87. The men's water polo team has become a dominant sport on campus with a total of 11 national championships, including the school's most recent. Among UCLA's 116 championship titles, some of the more notable victories are in men's basketball. 
Under legendary coach John Wooden, UCLA men's basketball teams won 10 NCAA championships, including a record seven consecutive, in 1964, 1965, 1967 1973, and 1975, and an eleventh was added under then coach Jim Herrick in 1995. Through 2008, the most consecutive by any other team is two. From 1971 to 1974, UCLA men's basketball won an unprecedented 88 consecutive games. UCLA has also shown dominance in men's volleyball, with 19 national championships. All 19 teams were led by former coach Al Skates, which ties him with John McDonnell of the University of Arkansas as NCAA leader for national championships in a single sport. Former UCLA basketball player and former NBA player Earl Watson commented, 11 national championships, the best coach Wooden to coach the game says a lot. I take offense to those who act like UCLA is just another school compared with Duke. Duke is a great school in the East, but UCLA is worldwide. UCLA is one of only six universities Michigan, Stanford, Ohio State, California, and Florida being the others, to have won national championships in all three major men's sports baseball, basketball, and football. <laughs> USC rivalry UCLA shares a traditional sports rivalry with the nearby University of Southern California, especially for football. Under famous coach John Wooden, UCLA became a dominating power in men's basketball, and has won 11 NCAA championships, against USC's zero. In football, UCLA has one national champion team and 16 conference titles, compared to USC's 11 national championships and 37 conference championships. The two football teams compete for annual possession of the Victory Bell, the trophy of the rivalry football game. In 2015, UCLA's football team was beaten by USC in a 21-40 defeat at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, ending its three-game winning streak. The schools share a rivalry in many other sports. In men's volleyball, UCLA won 19 NCAA men's volleyball championships against USC's four. UCLA also dominates the all-time series versus USC in men's volleyball 86 to 34. In women's volleyball, UCLA leads the all-time series against USC as well and has won 8 national champions to USC's 6. In soccer, UCLA leads USC in the all-time series 1-3-3-0, yet USC no longer competes in men's NCAA Division I soccer. The annual SoCal BMW Crosstown Cup compares the two schools based on their performance in 19 varsity sports. UCLA has won five times and USC has won nine times. This rivalry extends to the Olympic Games, where UCLA athletes have won 250 medals over a span of 50 years while USC athletes have won 287 over 100 years. UCLA and USC also compete in the We Run the City 5K, an annual charity race to raise donations for Special Olympics Southern California. The race is located on the campus of one of the schools and switches to the other campus each year. USC won the race in 2013 and 2015, while UCLA won the race in 2012, 2014, 2016, and 2017. The origin is unclear, but the rivalry most likely started when Football Hall of Fame coach Red Sanders led UCLA to dominance in the 1950s. 
USC, having won four national championships prior to UCLA's first and only title in 1954 diverted some attention from then-rival University of Notre Dame, and the new crosstown rivalry began. Topic. Student life The campus is located near prominent entertainment venues such as the Getty Center, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and the Santa Monica Pier. UCLA offers classical orchestras, intramural sports, and over 800 student organizations. UCLA is also home to more than 70 fraternities and sororities, which represent 13% of the undergraduate population. Freightiers, a non-exclusive social service club for women was founded here in 1924 by the Dean of Women, Helen Mathewson Laughlin. Students and staff participate in dinghy sailing, surfing, windsurfing, rowing, and kayaking at the UCLA Marina Aquatic Center in Marina del Rey. UCLA's first contemporary a cappella group, Awaken a Cappella, was founded in 1992. The all-male group, Bruin Harmony, has enjoyed a successful career since its inception in 2006, portraying a collegiate a cappella group in the social network 2010, while the Scattertones finished in second place in the International Championship of Collegiate a Cappella in 2011-2013. Other a cappella groups include Signature, Random Voices, Medleys, Youth Phonics, Resonance, Deviant Voices, Awekhords and Cadenza. Youth Phonics and Medleys are UCLA's only non-profit service-oriented a cappella groups. There are also a variety of cultural organizations on campus, such as Nikkei Student Union (NSU), Japanese Student Association (JSA), Association of Chinese Americans (ACA), Chinese Students and Scholars Association (CSSA), Chinese Music Ensemble (CME), Chinese Cultural Dance Club CCDC, Taiwanese American Union TAO, Taiwanese Student Association TSA, Hong Kong Student Society HKSS, Hanulam Korean Cultural Awareness Group, Samahang Pilipino, Vietnamese Student Union VSU, and Thai Smackham. Many of these organizations have an annual culture night consisting of drama and dance which raises awareness of culture and history to the campus and community. UCLA operates on a quarter calendar with the exception of the UCLA School of Law and the UCLA School of Medicine, which operate on a semester calendar. <laughs> Greek life There are more than 60 national and local Greek letter organizations at UCLA in six governing councils. About 4,000 students or 13% of UCLA undergraduate students participate in Greek letter organizations. In addition, UCLA includes some of the multicultural Greek organizations. Asian Greek Council AGC, governing body of the four historically Asian-founded fraternities and sororities. Latino Greek Council LGC, governing body of the eight Latino, a founded Greek letter organizations. Multi-interest Greek Council MIGC, governing body of the 15 cultural-based, special interest fraternity and sorority organizations. National Pan-Hellenic Council NPHC, Governing body of the seven historically African-American Greek letter organizations at UCLA. Traditions UCLA's official charity is Unicamp, founded in 1934. 
It is a week-long summer camp for underserved children from the greater Los Angeles area, with UCLA volunteer counselors. Unicamp runs for seven weeks throughout the summer at Camp River Glen in the San Bernardino National Forest. Because Unicamp is a non-profit organization, student volunteers from UCLA also fundraise money throughout the year to allow these children to attend summer camp. True Bruin Welcome begins the fall quarter to introduce new students to clubs and activities. The week includes the day of service for all freshmen, the enormous activities fair, and the sports fair. At the end of Move In and the beginning of True Bruin Welcome, UCLA holds Bruin Bash, which includes a concert, dance and movie pre-release. Bruin Bash was created as a replacement for Black Sunday, a large-scale day of partying including all fraternities in North Westwood Village. The Pediatric AIDS Coalition organizes the annual dance marathon in Poly Pavilion, where thousands of students raise a minimum of $250 and dance for 26 hours to support the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation, Project Kindle, and the UCLA AIDS Institute. Dancers are not allowed to sit except to use the restroom during the marathon, literally taking a stand against pediatric AIDS, and symbolizing the suffering of affected children around the world. In 2015, Dance Marathon at UCLA raised $446,157. During finals week, UCLA students participate in Midnight Yell where they yell as loudly as possible for a few minutes at midnight to release some stress from studying. The quarterly undie run takes place during the Wednesday evening of finals week, when students run through the campus in their underwear or in skimpy costumes. The run began in fall of 2001 when a student, Eric Whitehead, wearing what he described as really short shorts, walked around singing and playing guitar to protest the police restrictions on the midnight yell. With the increasing safety hazards and police and administration involvement, a student committee changed the route to a run through campus to Shapiro Fountain, which now culminates with students dancing in the fountain. In 2007, the route was changed again to begin at Strathmore Avenue instead of Landfair Avenue. The Undy Run has spread to other American universities, including the University of Texas at Austin, Arizona State University, and Syracuse University. The Alumni Association sponsors several events, usually large extravaganzas involving huge amounts of coordination, such as the 70-year-old Spring Sing, organized by the Student Alumni Association saw. UCLA's oldest tradition, Spring Sing is an annual gala of student talent, which is held at either Poly Pavilion or the outdoor Los Angeles Tennis Center. The committee bestows the George and Ira Gershwin Lifetime Achievement Award each year to a major contributor to the music industry. Past recipients have included Stevie Wonder, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, James Taylor, Ray Charles, Natalie Cole, Quincy Jones, Lionel Richie, and in 2009, Julie Andrews. The Dinner for Twelve Strangers is a gathering of students, alumni, administration and faculty to network around different interests. The Beat SC Bonfire and Rally occurs the week before the USC rivalry football game. The USAC Cultural Affairs Commission hosts the Jazz Reggae Festival, a two-day concert on Memorial Day weekend that attracts more than 20,000 attendees. The Jazz Reggae Festival is the largest, entirely student-produced and run event of its kind on the West Coast. Sigma Eta Pi and Bruin Entrepreneurs organize LA Hacks, an annual hackathon where students from around the United States come to build technology products. 
LA Hacks established itself as the largest hackathon in the United States when over 1,500 students participated in April 11 to 13, 2014. LA Hacks also holds the record for the most funds raised via corporate sponsorships with $250,000 raised. Some of the tech world's most prominent people have given talks and judged projects at LA Hacks, including Evan Spiegel, founder and CEO of Snapchat, Alexis Ahanian, co-founder of Reddit, Sam Altman, president of Y Combinator, and Krista Wolf, founder of MySpace. Topic student government The Associated Students UCLA ASUCLA encompasses the student government and student-led enterprises at UCLA. ASUCLA has four major components, the Undergraduate Students Association, the Graduate Students Association, Student Media, and Services and Enterprises. However, in common practice, the term ASUKLA refers to the services and enterprises component. This includes the student store, bookstore, food services, student union, etc. These commercial enterprises generate approximately $40 million in annual revenues. As a non-profit corporation, the financial goal of ASUKLA is to provide quality services and programs for students. ASUKLA is governed by a student majority board of directors. The Undergraduate Students Association and Graduate Students Association each appoint three members plus one alternative. In addition to the student members, there are representatives appointed by the administration, the Academic Senate, and the Alumni Association. The services and enterprises portion of ASUKLA is run by a professional executive director who oversees some 300 staff and 2,000 student employees. The Graduate Students Association is the governing body for approximately 13,000 graduate and professional students at UCLA. The Undergraduate Students Association Council (USAC) is the governing body of the Undergraduate Students Association (USA), whose membership comprises every UCLA undergraduate student. As of 2015, the student body had two major political slates, Bruins United and Let's Act. In the spring 2016 election, the two competing parties were Bruins United and Waves of Change, a smaller faction that broke off of Let's Act. USAC's 14 student officers and commissioners are elected by members of the Undergraduate Students Association at an annual election held during spring quarter. In addition to its 14 elected members, USAC includes appointed representatives of the administration, the alumni, and the faculty, as well as two ex officio members, the ASUCLA executive director and a student finance committee chairperson who is appointed by the USA president and approved by USAC. All members of USAC may participate fully in council deliberations, but only the elected officers, minus the USAC president may vote. Along with the council, the student government also includes a seven-member judicial board, which similar to the Supreme Court, serves as the judicial branch of government and reviews actions of the council. These seven students are appointed by the student body president and confirmed by the council. USAC's programs offers additional services to the campus and surrounding communities. For example, each year approximately 40,000 students, faculty and staff attend programs of the Campus Events Commission, including a low-cost film program, a speaker's program which presents leading figures from a wide range of disciplines, and performances by dozens of entertainers. Two to three thousand UCLA undergraduates participate annually in the more than 20 voluntary outreach programs run by the Community Service Commission. A large core of undergraduate volunteers also participate in programs run by the Student Welfare Commission, such as AIDS Awareness, Substance Abuse Awareness, Blood Drives and CPR, First Aid Training.
Topic: Media publications. UCLA Student Media is the home of UCLA's newspaper, magazines, and radio station. Most student media publications are governed by the Asukla Communications Board. The Daily Bruin is UCLA's most prominent student publication. Founded in 1919 under the name Cub Californian, it has since then developed into Los Angeles' third most circulated newspaper. It has won dozens of national awards, and is regularly commended for layout and content. In 2016, the paper won two National Pacemaker Awards, one for the best college newspaper in the country, and another for the best college media website in the country. The newspaper has not been without scrutiny and controversy, and in 1954, the administration attempted to intervene with the previous policy of electing editors by a student council. UCLA Student Media also publishes seven special interest news magazines, All Talib, Femme, Ham, La Gente, Nomo, Pacific Ties, and Outright, a school yearbook, Bruin Life, and the student-run radio station, UCLA Radio. Student groups such as the Forum for Energy Economics and Development also publish yearly journals focused on energy technologies and industries. There are also numerous graduate student-run journals at UCLA, such as Carte Italian, Issues in Applied Linguistics, and Mediascape. Many of these publications are available through open access. The School of Law publishes the UCLA Law Review which is currently ranked 7th among American law schools. Topic. Housing UCLA provides housing to over 10,000 undergraduate and 2,900 graduate students. Most undergraduate students are housed in 14 complexes on the western side of campus, referred to by students as the Hill. Students can live in halls, plazas, suites, or university apartments, which vary in pricing and privacy. Housing plans also offer students access to dining facilities, which have been ranked by the Princeton Review as some of the best in the United States. Dining halls are located in Covell Commons, Reber Hall, Carnesale Commons and Deneve Plaza. In winter 2012, a dining hall called the Feast at Reber opened to students. The newest dining hall as of winter quarter 2014 is Bruin Plate, located in the Carnesale Commons, commonly referred to as Sproul Plaza. Residential cafes include Bruin Café, Rendezvous, The Study at Hedrick, and Café 1919. UCLA currently offers three years guaranteed housing to its incoming freshmen, and one year to incoming transfer students. There are four type of housing available for students, residential halls, deluxe residential halls, residential plazas, and residential suites. Available on the hill are study rooms, basketball courts, tennis courts, and Sunset Recreational Center which includes three swimming pools. Graduate students are housed in one of five apartment complexes. Weyburn Terrace is located just southwest of the campus in Westwood Village. The other four are roughly five miles south of UCLA in Palms and Mar Vista. They too vary in pricing and privacy. Approximately 400 students live at the University Cooperative Housing Association, located two blocks off campus. Students who are involved in Greek life have the option to also live in Greek housing while at UCLA. Sorority houses are located east of campus on Hillgard Avenue, and fraternity houses are located west of campus throughout Westwood Village. A student usually lives with 50-plus students in Greek housing. Topic. Hospitality 
Hospitality constituents of the university include departments not directly related to student life or administration. The hospitality department manages the university's two on-campus hotels, the UCLA Guest House and the Meyer and Rene Luskin Conference Center. The 61-room Guest House services those visiting the university for campus-related activities. The department also manages the UCLA Conference Center, a 40-acre conference center in the San Bernardino Mountains near Lake Arrowhead. Hospitality also operates UCLA Catering, a vending operation, and summer conference center located on the Westwood campus. Chabad House The UCLA Chabad House is a community center for Jewish students operated by the Orthodox Jewish Chabad movement. Established in 1969, it was the first Chabad house at a university. In 1980, three students died in a fire in the original building of the UCLA Chabad House. The present building was erected in their memory. The building, completed in 1984, was the first of many Chabad houses worldwide designed as architectural reproductions of the residence of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson at 770 Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn, New York. The Chabad House hosts the UCLA chapter of the Rohr Jewish Learning Institute Sinai Scholars Society. Topic Healthy Campus Initiative In January 2013, Chancellor Jean Block launched the UCLA Healthy Campus Initiative HCI, envisioned and supported by Jane and Terry Semmel. The Semmel HCI prioritizes the health and wellness of UCLA students, staff, and faculty by making the healthy choice the easy choice. The goal of the initiative is to make UCLA the healthiest campus in the country, and to share best practices and research with other communities, locally and beyond. The initiative is a campus wide, multi year effort that champions programs such as the tobacco free policy, expansion of campus gardens, stairwell makeovers, bicycle infrastructure improvements, healthy and sustainable dining options, and peer counseling, among others. The UCLA Healthy Campus Initiative is credited with providing inspiration for national initiatives including the Partnership for a Healthier America PHA Healthier Campus Initiative and the University of California Office of the President UCOP Global Food Initiative GFI. In November 2014, UCLA was one of the 20 inaugural colleges and universities to pledge to adopt PHA's guidelines for food and nutrition, physical activity and programming over three years. The Semmel HCI is a member of both the Menus of Change Research Collaborative and the Teaching Kitchen Collaborative, and a contributor to the Huffington Post. In 2015, UCLA was included on Greatest's list of the 25 healthiest colleges in the U.S. In 2016, UCLA was ranked Best College Food in America by Town and Country. Topic. Faculty and alumni 24 Nobel laureates are associated with UCLA, 10 professors, 7 alumni and 10 researchers. Two other faculty members winning the Nobel Prize were Bertrand Russell and Al Gore, who each had a short stay at UCLA. The alumni Nobel laureates include Richard Heck, Chemistry, 2010, Eleanor Ostrom, Economic Sciences, 2009, and Randy Schechman, Physiology or Medicine, 2013. Fifty-two UCLA professors have been awarded Guggenheim Fellowships, and eleven are MacArthur Foundation Fellows. Mathematics professor Terence Dow was awarded the 2006 Fields Medal.
Geography professor Jared Diamond won the 1998 Pulitzer Prize for his book Guns, Germs, and Steel. Two UCLA history professors have each won 2008 Pulitzer Prizes for general nonfiction and history. Saul Friedlander, noted scholar of the Nazi Holocaust, won the prize for general nonfiction for his 2006 book, The Years of Extermination, Nazi Germany and the Jews, 1939-1945, and Daniel Walker Howe for his 2007 book, What Hath God Wrought? The Transformation of America, 1815-1848. A number of UCLA alumni are notable politicians. In the state of Hawaii, Ben Cayetano 68, became the first Filipino-American to be elected governor of a U.S. state. In the U.S. House of Representatives, Henry Waxman 61, 64, represented California's 30th congressional district and was chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. U.S. Representative Judy Chu 74, represents California's 32nd Congressional District and became the first Chinese-American woman elected to the U.S. Congress in 2009. Kirsten Gillibrand 91, is U.S. Senator from the state of New York and former U.S. Representative for New York's 20th Congressional District. UCLA boasts two mayors of Los Angeles, Tom Bradley 1937-1940, the city's only African-American mayor, and Antonio Villaregosa 77, who served as mayor from 2005 to 2013. Now Takasugi was the mayor of Oxnard, California and the first Asian-American California assemblyman. Ben Shapiro BA04 is an American conservative political commentator, nationally syndicated columnist, author, radio talk show host, and attorney. He is the editor in chief at the Daily Wire. Lawrence Fink BA74, MBA76, is chairman and CEO of the world's largest money management firm BlackRock. Oliver Benjamin BA 90 author founder of the religion Judaism Bill Gross MBA 71 co-founded Pacific Investment Management PIMCO Michael Morhaime BA 90 Alan Adam BA 90 and Frank Pierce BA 90 are the founders of Blizzard Entertainment developer of the award winning Warcraft Starcraft and Diablo computer game franchises Tom Anderson is a co-founder of the social networking website MySpace Ben Horowitz MS 90 is a co-founder of the Silicon Valley venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. Computer scientist Vint Cerf 70, 72, is vice president and chief internet evangelist at Google and the person most widely considered the father of the internet. Henry Samueli 75, is co-founder of Broadcom Corporation and owner of the Anaheim Ducks. Susan Wojcicki MBA 98 is the CEO of YouTube. Travis Kalanick is one of the founders of Uber. Guy Kawasaki MBA 79 is one of the earliest employees at Apple. Nathan Myacharvold is the founder of Microsoft Research. Venture capitalist, author and futurist Donald Prell BA 48 founder of Datamation magazine. UCLA alumni have also achieved prominence in the arts and entertainment. John Williams is laureate conductor at the Boston Pops Orchestra and Academy Award winning composer of the Star Wars film score. Martin Sherwin 71, was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for American Prometheus, The Triumph and Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer. Actors Ben Stiller, Tim Robbins, James Franco, George Takei, Mayim Bialik, Sean Astin, Holland Roden, Danielle Panabaker, and Milo Ventimiglia are also UCLA alumni. Popular music artists Sarah Bareilles, The Doors, Linkin Park, and Maroon 5 all attended UCLA. 
Ryan Dusick of Maroon 5 majored in English. Jada De Laurentiis is a program host at Food Network and former chef at Spago. Greg Graffin, lead singer of punk rock band Bad Religion, earned a master's degree in geology at UCLA, and used to teach a course on evolution there. Carol Burnett was the winner of the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 2013 also winner of Emmys, a Peabody and a Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. Francis Ford Coppola 67, was the director of the gangster film trilogy The Godfather and the Vietnam War film Apocalypse Now and Dustin Lance Black is the Academy Award winning screenwriter of the film Milk. Meb Kefletzigi is the winner of the 2014 Boston Marathon. UCLA also boasts an excellent military background, with hundreds of alumni serving their nation. Carlton Skinner was a U.S. Navy commander who racially integrated the service at the end of World War II on the USS Sea Cloud. He was also the first civilian governor of Guam. Francis B.Y. is, to date, the only Chinese-American and the first Asian-American to be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his actions in World War II. UCLA also lost an alumnus in early 2007 when 2nd Lieutenant Mark Daly was killed in Mosul, Iraq after his HMMWV was hit by an IED. Lieutenant Daly's service is marked by a plaque located on the northern face of the Student Activities Center SAC, where the ROTC halls are currently located. H. R. Haldeman and John Ehrlichman are among the most infamous alumni because of their activities during the 1972 Watergate scandal. UCLA's faculty and alumni have won a number of awards including As of 1 August 2016, the top three places where UCLA alumni work are Kaiser Permanente with 1,459 plus alumni, UCLA Health with 1,127 plus alumni, and Google with 1,058 plus alumni. Topic. UCLA Medal The highest honor given by UCLA to individuals for extraordinary accomplishment is the UCLA Medal, which was established in 1979. More than 140 have received the award, including Topic. See also University of California, Los Angeles Portal 2019 College Admissions Bribery Scandal